Welcome back, everybody. You know, it's only been a hot second since I have played this uh, campaign. Freaking extra HP. Got it. So, do I remember what's going on? Well, that's optimistic. Uh, I remember we took down the Crimean Khanate, which was pretty darn good. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and they got the bombard. That villager's just like big chillin'. Get you. Okay. So. Radu the. Oh, I think. Wait, do we have the Poinari Castle? No, we have to take down the Poinari Castle. Oh, and destroy the powder kegs or whatever. Um, well, I think we can snipe the... Um... Oh yeah, and we have Timurid Siegecraft too. We can snipe... Uh, Radu's. Uh, castle. Yeah, in case you guys were wondering, I was on family vacation for a little bit. Uh, for four days, and obviously I am busy with our mess cup. So, that is what I have been up to. I have been a busy, busy bumblebee. Oh, that's, a uh, Vladdy boy. Oh, no, 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 not more siege monitors. Yes, destroy your own troops. No, don't destroy my trebuchet. I have a few simple rules. Uh, I have heater shot in. You can't let us die! Oh, but I can! Because I'm a jerk. Okay. Oh, there's a relic over there. It's on an island and I'm pretty lazy. Oh, God. Dang it. Maybe I could use some bombard cannons. Let's get some vills. Make at least a siege workshop or something. Oh boy. Really? My mining camp? Of all things?
Okay, let's get some bombards. Yeah, we have Baggins in. Let's get those. Whoa, 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 whoa. Me no like he see Jonager. Okay, gold, 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 gold. It's the gold song. Oh my god, that is not a winning fight. Okay. Didn't I order some bombards? Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. Um can share these books? Oh here? I don't know, what do you give me? I'll take what I can get at this point. Try and squeeze in some more Konex. Oh boy, the Turkish army's here too. Okay, we have our bombards. Oh, dang it. Learn faith and block printing. I mean, eh. Well, that's kind of a waste. Oh, what? One HP? Okay, I feel like we need to rethink our strategy right here. We're kind of getting absolutely melted in this little valley area. We do have some gold income at this point. These guys do have a market. We can start trading, I guess. Come on. Come on. There is the good old Turkish artillery. I feel like I need some more vills as well. What are you guys doing? Okay, caravan. Oh 
Yeah, I guess there's a little gold left over there. Go get those guys. Okay. This should give us at least some decent gold income. I just hope that things don't get jammed up too much. Never get, did I never get Bombard Tower? <gasps> what kind of madness has driven me to hit the wrong button? Dang it! Okay, uh, now I can afford it. Kind of nonsense game is this where I don't get Bombard Tower when I could get Bombard Tower. Well, these stirrups SRs are pretty darn good. Wait, are we breaking them? Because if we have uh, lots of gold income, there's tons of stone on the map we can still mine. I think those guys are doing a whole lot. The problem is, like, they're making an army of almost exclusively gold units. And that's really hard to stop with an army of almost exclusively trash units. Seventy three gold per trip. Could be worse, honestly. The trade cards at least pay for themselves after one trip. Come on, one gold. One gold. I'm not using the market for this one gold. I'm going to get this one gold. Something's going to give it to me. There we go. <laughs> Okay. 
At least Bulgarian Hussars are really good. Oh, okay. Dracula is at least attacking from the other side. And then we just need to snipe this Ponari Castle. This here Ponari Castle. Uh, let's try getting some siege rams, perhaps. Actually, can you just, uh, do that? Yes, you can. Thank you, Timurid Siegecraft. I think I need to tamper my food income a little bit. Just so I can get more gold miners. Anyway, hopefully Radu the Third becomes our ally or something, or at the very least resigns. All right, we gotcha. You have failed again today. What method of death are you going to choose? Whatever, Steven. Whatever. Oh, okay, it becomes uh, Dracula's. That guy gave me nightmares. Okay, so... The four castles of Mehmet the second or defeat the Turkish army um well I feel like red's right over here with its eight bajillion Janissaries so that would be easier than going to the other side of the map oh I never got that guy either But uh, let's go ahead and do that. Start maybe to take out the castle from the other side of the river. Sorry, guys. Need more trade carts. Now I can train Konix again. You are stuck on land. Yeah, I guess the Turkish army is just down over here. Ooh, they're making cannon galleons. Our base is under attack. We need your support, Lord Sultan. Another trap. Let's get some more siege rams. I feel like I'm just living the life of gold income right now. Look at all these trade carts going to and fro. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I wonder if you can snipe. Okay, that siege workshop, probably not. The other siege workshop, probably. Not the wild horse! Yeah. 
I have to defend on that river. More bombard towers. More losing our trebuchets. That's a critical part of our strategy. Lures them into a false sense of security. You know, the easier way of doing that would simply be to use the select all military hotkey. I'm not playing Voobly anymore. Unfortunately, Bulgarians don't have treadmill crane. At least I have one keep standing over here. My trifecta of siege workshops that I always make for whatever reason. Trade workshops, those powder magazines or whatever. Hofnitsa. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of jannies. Can I hit the frickin' belt deep workshop hockey? Oh my god. Oh crap. Well, I got a stable. Um, that's a big army. I mean, the Krepos will deal with this stuff, as long as I don't have any big siege weapons. Okay, I will need to repopulate these farms, though. But I do just kind of need an enormous army at this point. Because that's an enormous army of royal janissaries. Oh my god. Feels when they're killing my bombard towers with hand cannoneers. Or fantasaries. I know what units are. I still have fishing ships alive. Who would have thunk? If only I had those wing tussars. Um, send some more bells over. Whew. Yeah, those Sapahi are pretty strong. They have like, what, 200 HP? I mean, their armor isn't that great, nor is their attack, but they have a lot of HP. How did you get all the way over there? What? There, there isn't even a way that connects that to over here. That's so confusing.
I mean, on the one hand, I really could use some forward production, but on the other hand, I don't really have a lot of space for forward production. Cannon galleons. Okay, do the rivers all uh, connect all the way over? They do not. So I need to get some docks up like here. Because I'm gonna need some fire ships to deal with those cannon galleons. More Bombard Towers! The true source of our victory! Greening. When in doubt, more Bombard Towers. Is there a little town center, like, anywhere nearby? Why is there never any room to build on these maps? Yeah, Hussar, take down the Cannon Galleon. But I just want some towers close to the front lines. Get some trebs. Focus down you. Yeah, the TC is going to be very helpful for training more villagers to replace the ones that die over here. Need to get some more stone miners. Well, the Janny numbers are at least getting thinned out a little bit. And perhaps soon I'll be able to mix back in some... Uh, like, forward siege workshops. How many trade cards do I have? 42? I mean, that's like pretty normal for a multiplayer game. But this is a campaign. I mean, I have like 90 population tied up in villagers. Oh, boy. You have got to be kidding me. Some more forward production would be really swell. Anyway, now we're getting more siege units as a part of our army.
Okay, I'm pretty sure they can't replace their uh, destroyed production. Don't convert my freaking bombard tower, you jerk! Oh my god. I have 11 Bombard Towers over here, man. No, Aeroslitz feels bad, man. Oh, I only have eight Lumberjacks. I need more than 200 pop, man. I'm like making a corridor of bombard towers for my units to pass through. And we're making more Konex. This is why Bombard Towers are awesome. Hmm. Oh, there's a fair amount of territory down here. For some reason I thought the edge of the map was like right here. Wait, what? What's the issue?
Well, I got that. The thing is, I can't even use cannon galleons because they have artillery bombard towers, which outrange my non-elite cannon galleons as Bulgarians. So, like, if you're thinking that's an option, it isn't. some more bombard cannons of our own. Solidifying our forward position. Nineteen bombard towers and counting. I can't believe we're actually keeping our resources low. Making progress, slowly, emphasis on the slow part. We have this hill though, which is pretty nice. Maybe we can take down that siege workshop next. All right, here's a regular Hussar. Let's see what else they have over here. Okay, they don't have a whole lot. Just have like some barracks and archery ranges. Duh, freaking artillery bombard towers. Got it. Lost all those units. What? No, don't rebuild buildings. That's not allowed. Since when did I say that was okay? Oh, Hofnitsa. Got him. Alright, I think we're on our victory march, guys. Oh, they're deleting stuff!
We defeated the Armory in, Ottoman army in Wallachia. I believe Mehmet is at a loss now. We once again defended our independence. Steven, don't think you can win this time. You'll... If you... Yeah. Uh, just do something and things. Two hours, 25 minutes, 18 seconds. That is not a pretty KD. Turkish army, 171 military high? Oh my god. Whew, that was tough. Negative one relics captured? Yeah, look at this army that I was having to punch through with trash units. Anyway, if you wanted to take the uh, defeat Mehmet approach, he seems to have uh, just a lot of scattered camps over here. It would probably be around as tricky. Um, it's like you either choose to go for um, Radu, or you choose to end the, the Turkish army, or you choose to just go for Dracula. Or not Dracula, uh, Mehmet. But at least this way we got the help of uh, Dracula, who, although not, like, insanely helpful, was at least, like, kind of, sort of, helpful. You know, 660 kills. That's something. Anyway, guys, let's uh, do that. So good. Under our artillery fire, the Ottomans could only crawl forward. However, by the virtue of their numerical superiority, they still broke through our defense lines from other places. In such a situation, I could only choose to give up the battlefield village and withdraw to the Nyamt fortress to the north. Then, in addition to the Ottomans, the Crimean Tatars, who were conquered by him, also attacked us. Mengli the First Gire, whom I was with earlier, has lost his power. But God bless Moldova. My brother Vlad Dracula was released from house arrest by Matthias. He brought the Black Army from Hungary and promptly supported our, our dilapidated troops. This is the second time he's lent a helping hand to me. Of course, I know that this is also a calculus of Matthias I, but with our combined efforts, we recaptured Wallachia once again. The army of Mehmet II had no choice but to withdraw from Moldova. After this defeat, Mehmet II launched another attack on Italy, but I believe that his defeat in Moldova and the eternal struggle for power consumed the last of his life, and he died within a few years. Hashtag got him. All right. Crush Poland is the uh, sixth scenario and maybe the last one. But uh, we'll see you guys next time for that one. See you then.